Hi, I'm Arden Kaywin, and today's episode of the Pro Singer Success Collective is how to get rid of tension. Stay tuned. Today, we are going to talk about something that I get asked about all the time, and that is tension, right? I hear from so many of you that you feel so much tension, tension in your throat and maybe in your jaw, in your ribs, in your support, and I'm always asked, I'm constantly asked, how do I get rid of the tension? So that's what we're going to be talking about today, because I think it's kind of like the holy grail for singers, which is, you know, to sing without strain, without tension, throughout the expanse of your range with a free sound, a powerful sound, resonant, vulnerable sound. Simple, right? <laughs> like I'm, I'm totally rolling my eyes now. You can probably feel that. You probably are too. And I get it. I really do. Because I mean, if it were that simple, yeah, just sing freely, no tension, up and down your range, free, powerful. Like if it were that simple, You'd be doing it easily by now. You would never strain on the high notes. You would never tense up at the end of a long phrase. You'd never feel anxious about what sound was going to come out. It'd be amazing. It'd be so freaking amazing. And the thing is, there's a really good reason that you're frustrated. And guess what? It's not your fault. It's not. Odds are nobody has ever told you about the negative feedback loop of tension. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And I was reminded of it, that I was reminded of this negative feedback loop of tension because I got a message from a member of my virtual studio, uh, Frankie. And Frankie wrote, I just, I'm going to read it to you. I just found your content and I am hooked so far. Thank you, Frankie. But I do need help with one thing. I have so much strain and tension and it won't go away. I've watched hundreds of videos, honestly, near thousands. And when I push more and try to increase pitch, my voice flats out, my throat strains and hitting the pitch and the note just isn't there. It's only one pitch. And he writes, the more I push, the more strain I feel. How can I eliminate this to hit new notes? So thank you, Frankie, for putting, you know, for reaching out and putting that out there. And I guarantee you that you are not the only one who is experiencing this. And so what Frankie has been stuck on is the negative feedback loop of tension. And he never even knew it. And I bet there are a lot of you who are marooned there too and had no idea. And so despite your best efforts, singing without tension and without strain remains elusive because you're stuck in this loop. And you guys, I've been there. When I was a young singer, I remember how frustrating it was. You know, I, my teacher, she used to tell me that, you know, she'd be like, your jaw is tense. And I'm like, I know. Thank you. I feel it. Thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Like, I feel it. What do you want me to do about it? You know? And she would say, go to acupuncture, go to yoga, um, do a massage, go to therapy, like all these things. And I would do them. And I'd feel great. My jaw would be nice and relaxed. And then the minute I came back to singing, the tension was right back where it started. And guys, there is a reason why none of that stuff works. The way that you get rid of tension and stubborn physical habits that are sabotaging your singing without doing one more acupuncture or massage or fancy yoga class ever again comes down to understanding why you are feeling so much tension and strain when you sing in the first place, what this negative feedback loop is all about and what to do to get out of it. And so first, let me explain what the negative feedback loop is. So the negative feedback loop of tension, let, let's use our, our member Frankie as an example. So you'll remember that he wrote that when he pushes more and he tries to increase his, increase his pitch, you know, the voice just conks out and then he writes that you know his throat gets strained and hitting the pitch you know becomes more impossible and the more he 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 pushes the more strain he feels and so he's pretty much summed it up 
right there for you. The more you push, the more you strain, the worse the note comes out, which makes you more insecure. So you trust your technique less, you push more, you strain more, you sound even worse, you trust even less, you push more, you strain more, you sound worse, you feel more insecure, you push more. And therein lies the loop, okay? And it just constantly feeds on itself until either you get a vocal injury or you just throw your hands up in defeat and you stop, and you stop singing. And so how do we interrupt this negative feedback loop? What do we do? And on the surface, you might say, well, he just needs better support. He shouldn't be pushing. And you'd be right, but only to a degree. If you teach a singer rock solid support that they can completely rely on, the tension should go away. It should. The tension is there because when a singer is pushing, they're not supporting. And as a reaction, other parts of the body then come in to compensate and, quote, support the sound by holding in the neck or holding in the jaw. Could be the ribs, could be the tongue. When the body doesn't feel inherently supported by the lower support, other parts of the body come in and they say, I'll do it. And they grab and hence the tension. And now the strain comes in because now you've got a big old block in what should be an open energetic channel in your instrument. So for example, if the neck or the jaw is tense and grabbing, the brain goes, well, damn, how am I going to get air past that? All that tension, all that holding. How am I going to get air past that? So now the body feels like it needs to push in order to get the air past this block, but in doing so, it sabotages any chance of efficient support. And so it makes the neck or jaw jump in even more to compensate for the lower body that's no longer supporting you. But now you have that block in the neck or the jaw, which makes you push more to get past that block. And then the feedback loop goes on and on. So it's there because the, the support's not there, but the support's not there because the tension is doing it and it's a mess. So you've got these two giant negative feedback loops, the one going on in your mindset, the one going on in your physical body, and they're working concurrently with each other, making it near impossible to sing and perform the way you want. So what to do? What do we do? The only way to break the negative feedback loop of tension is by addressing the thinking behind the singing. Guys, there is a reason why his body is tensing. We react physically to the things going on in our head and tension is a reaction to what's going on in the thinking, okay? There is a reason why teaching a singer like Frankie better support doesn't kick the loop. There's a reason why it was so frustrating for me for teachers to say, go to acupuncture, get a massage, blah, blah, because that doesn't work either. You cannot address a singer's technique or her physiology in a vacuum, okay? You guys, I had the best technique in the world, seriously. Like I went to major prestigious conservatories for my undergrad, for my master's. I have worked with amazing technicians. I understood exactly what I was supposed to be doing with my body to support my sound. And yet, in the moment of singing, even after I'd had my tension released by the acupuncturist or the yoga or by therapy or whatever, there's a reason why I'd feel great. And then the moment I'd start singing, all the tension would come back. And it was because nobody was helping me to understand the thinking behind the singing, the thinking that was sabotaging the singing because it's the thinking that creates the tension in the body, okay? And until you address what's going on in the thinking, you will never be able to fully kick the tension and improve the singing. That's why just teaching a singer badass support is usually not enough to break the negative feedback loop. Because I can give a singer the best technique in the world. And trust me, you guys, ask any of the singers who work with me. I work them hardcore and technique, but it's not gonna matter. Okay, I can give her all the best techniques in the world and intellectually, she's gonna understand 100% of what she's supposed to be doing in her body. But in the moment of performing, there's something in her thinking that's gonna be preventing her from actually trusting that and using the technique that she intellectually knows in that moment. And so you've heard me say this before, but I will say it again. 
It's going to be tattooed on my forehead. (laughs) When we change the thinking, we change the singing. The body cannot do what the brain is sabotaging. It just can't. So this is what I do with singers in my intensive. We unpack the brain so that it stops sabotaging the body and frees your most powerful, effortless, unique sound. And it can happen really quickly too, by the way. A new singer, she just came into the intensive and I want want to celebrate her. This is a singer who's a classical singer and she's based... She's based in New York um, and she's starting the program in about two weeks. And after a long dry spell, after auditions without booking any roles without and and feeling so down on herself, starting to doubt her talent, wondering if at 33 years old, she was ever going to break through to the next level of, you know, getting to work in those A or B level opera houses instead of, you know, being stuck in C level houses and ensembles. So we had one class. We've had one of our one-on-ones. She hasn't come into the group, the group yet. And I'm so proud of her because even after like one class, she wrote me and she told me that she filmed a a self-tape for an audition. And it's the first thing she's done since the work that we got done together. Okay. And she got a call back already just from like one day of understanding how this stuff is related. And so I'm telling you this because this is powerful stuff, you guys. You don't have to settle for being on the negative feedback loop. You don't have to settle for constantly second guessing your talent because this tension is holding you back and making you insecure about your sound and what you're able to do. You don't have to have the anxiety anymore of what if I actually get the gig? Because that's a big one. What if I actually get the gig? I will never be able to sing this night after night after night with all this tension and strain. And then they're going to know that I'm a fraud. Like how many of you have that? Like you can, you can get in there and you can squeeze enough and nail enough and like fake it enough in the audition. But if you actually had to do that every night, you know, you know that you're in for a vocal injury and that it's not sustainable. And so then you feel like a fraud. So now you've actually got fear of success and that really works the negative feedback loop. I want you to know that you do not have to settle for living with that fear of vocal injury because even though you sound good, you secretly know how much you're straining to get there. There is a way out of this tension. So after hearing all of this, if you're pretty sure that you have been stuck on the negative feedback loop of tension, then let me help you. Even if nothing else has worked, Even if you've tried a billion different teachers, even if you've tried acupuncture or massage or therapy or whatever it is, even if nothing else has worked, this is what I do is to help talented singers get past their blocks to sing and perform in a way that makes the dream possible. And I always set aside time in my calendar to share the exact strategy that I use with the singers in my program. You, this is, this is deeper, more advanced work. This is not learn to sing. This is not for singers who have yet to have real professional one-on-one technical training. If you have not had that, that's why you're experiencing a lot of tension because you just don't even have a basic knowledge of what you're supposed to be doing with your body. And so it's all acting all out of, out of whack. Okay. But if you've had that training and you're still dealing with all of this stuff that we just spent, you know, 15 minutes talking about, then you are an exact candidate for the kind of singers that I help doing this work. And I always set aside time in my calendar to share with you how this works so that you understand there's a different way to train and see what you can discover and get some clarity as to why you're stuck and what we can do, the exact strategy to help fix it. And so as usual, the call is totally free. I want to hear what's going on with you. I want to hear what's going on with your singing. I want to hear about all the training and what's what you've been experiencing. And if I think I can help you, I will let you know. And if not, I'll point you to somebody who can. So on the call, we're going to chat for like 45 minutes and we're going to lay out that strategy that's going to help you get out of the tension and out of the strain so that you can sing freely, be able to rely on the longevity of your voice get rid of any risk of vocal injury, consistently nail the performances that are going to connect deeply with your audience and make an impact. 
and then open all the doors to the life and the career that all of this brings. If you are a singer who's had at least a year of professional one-on-one vocal training and you're recognizing yourself and all of the things that we talked about in this negative feedback loop, um, you know, and like I said before, if you have not had professional one-on-one training yet, go get that first. Go get that first, okay? Because if you have had that training and you've still got that tension and that strain that you can't shake, if in your quiet moments you're wondering, like, I have worked so hard. I've worked with, like, so many teachers. Why can't I get past this stuff? Because you know if you did, your career would be at a totally different level by now. If you know that you're absolutely committed and decisive about doing this and, you know, having this future with your voice, being resourceful and accountable to be able to make a life with your gifts and have a huge impact with your voice and build a real career and a real life out of it, if you're super committed to that, and if you just need some help getting past the tension to get there, then I got you. I'm here for you. Go ahead and book a call. Don't overthink it. Because I want you to know that there is another way and that you don't have to feel stuck any longer. All right, you guys, it's been awesome talking to you today about tension. And I'll see you back here next week talking about something else. Okay. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you want to subscribe, click the link right over there that says subscribe. And if you want to book a breakthrough session with me, which you absolutely should do, then click the link right over here that says book a call to schedule an appointment to speak with us. I'll see you on the next episode.